Surrender to everything you know. Oh, you will lie. Tyler Perry's Ruthless is, as the kids say, doing the most. It is more risque, more intense, dark and sexy. And in the middle of it all, Lenny Thomas, who joins us now to talk more about Ruthless. Welcome, Lenny. Thank you for having me. My goodness. It's good to see you again. Good to see you. The last time we talked, you guys had just launched like uh, within the last uh, a month or so. Now yeah. it's uh, you guys are all wrapped up. Like, what is this? How does this journey feel for you? It still feels surreal. Like I'm, I'm still waiting to be to for someone to pinch me and me wake up back in Brooklyn. I'm not in Brooklyn anymore. I'm in Atlanta now. The job brought me out here. <laughs> so yeah, surreal. And, and uh, you've finished shooting season two of Ruthless. Mm -hmm. and I do want to talk to you about shooting though, however, in the Tyler Perry COVID strict bubble. You guys did that. Yeah. And uh, what was that experience like? Oh, it was like a summer camp. And I've never been away to summer camp before. So I got to live out some of my, you know, childhood dreams there while uh, trying to keep up with Tyler's pace. And oh my gosh, it was it was great. You know what I mean? They had, I felt incredibly safe. Um, it didn't feel like work until they yelled action. <laughs> but um, yeah, I want to go back. It was that good. And for those who don't know, like Tyler really did it the right way. Like you guys were living and working and all of that yeah. and not allowed to leave. Not that you wanted to leave. Exactly. <laughs> Did not want to leave. And when it came time to leave, that was one of the hardest days because it was, you know, going back into the real world. I mean, we were in Narnia for, for goodness <laughs> sake. At least that's what it felt like. I would imagine like leaving and you're like, ah, Kevin, why don't I just stick around and do some other stuff? Yeah. Some so interesting kind of me. stuff. <laughs> you don't need me first. I can, I can make myself, you know, useful, busy. I'll stay out of the way. Just let me, just let me stick around. <laughs> And, and I said that the show was uh, ris riskier, sexier, like everything got amped up a bit. Talk to me about uh, your character, Daikon, and uh, where are you going in season two? So in season two, you start to see more of the unraveling of Daikon as he, you know, desperately tries to hold what's left of the cult together. And I mean, you, you get to see his vulnerable sides. You know what I mean? Which, you know, you don't really get much of in the first season. You start to get little hints here and there, but you'll start seeing the humanity of him and then you'll find out why he is the way he is towards the middle of the season. I can't imagine him unraveling. <laughs> oh, it happens. <laughs> I think I alluded to it before, but every dog has his day. So I can't uh, wait. And I thought about this, like, do you and your fellow castmates uh, find that you have to end up trusting each other more because in the show, you can't trust anyone. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Like we, we are each other's lifeline. You know what I mean? I made it a, a, a I made it my objective before the new uh, castmates joined to reach out to every single one of them so that they knew what to expect and to feel as if we are, you know, feel the familial uh, family feeling because otherwise we wouldn't be able to get up there and do what we do if we didn't trust each other wholeheartedly, like from, from go, you know? Especially with that Tyler Perry pace that's going on. Yeah. Shooting <laughs> in a pandemic. And then here's here's what I'm super excited about, uh, because you were not only shooting uh, Ruthless during a pandemic, mm -hmm. you're also shooting The Oval during a pandemic. Yes, indeed. Uh, Without spoiling too much, since it is a spinoff of The Oval, some ruthless characters are going to pop up in the next season of The Oval. Namely myself, uh, namely Daikon. And, you know, whenever I, whenever Daikon shows up, you know something's about to go down because he, he just he just can't help himself. He's getting in somebody's business. So I can't wait for that either because that's pretty wild as well. Um, and uh, you can't give us any info about how he shows up, where he shows up, when he shows up. It has to do with, if uh, you're familiar with the Oval, uh, it has to do with one of the main characters, Barry's daughter, right? You find out what, ha you know, the fate of his daughter through me popping up. 
so yeah that's that's about as much as i think i can give <laughs> <laughs> i love it i mean uh did you have any free time during shooting with two shows um surprisingly there was some free time like sparingly there was one day we had a barbecue like a cookout you know on the only day off we really had during the shooting but um the in-between moments like if i wasn't if i wasn't uh on set i was with my castmates you know running lines goofing off because I'm a, I'm a goofball so you know as soon as i don't have to be dark i'm not going to be dark i'm going to be the exact opposite and try to you know keep my my castmates engaged in and feeling good you know that's good to hear like as soon as you don't you don't need to be dark let's like yeah. the mood let's like the mood you know what i was thinking though is like you don't know what it's like to shoot a show like this like these two outside of the pandemic like you don't know what that experience is that's true that is very true that is it's kind of bonkers now because if this is going to be the way we move forward um i mean in a way i kind of look forward to it because that summer camp situation was pretty dope and i mean you know, tyler perry is keeping everyone safe as he should oh yeah yeah he he pulls no stops like i felt safer there than i do in my own apartment <laughs> i understand i understand completely um yeah. all right so we're gonna wrap it up but tell me ruthless will premiere sometime in 2021 yes as well as the oval and the oval will appear pre pre premiere sometime in the 2021 yes sir and it's gonna be good and juicy fans are loving ruthless are they not yeah they are they are my my dms are uh exploding right now it's um especially the past few episodes that just came out oh my gosh <laughs> Rest in peace to my DMs. That's all I got to say. <laughs> Lenny, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for making time for us. And uh, I really appreciate the work you're putting in and the product that you guys are putting out because it's good stuff. Thank you. Thank you, seriously. That means the world to me. It's all good right. to see you again, as usual, too. Good to see you. Enjoy Atlanta. All right, sir. Thank you. Okay.